We are here today to talk about HPE 5G core stack, a full solution of a 5G core. We'll discuss what it means, what are the design consideration, and specifically how it's commissioned and deployed for operators. With me today are Pierre Lavillat, HP 5G core stack program manager and global practice manager. Hello. Hello. And Sebastian Claire, our senior product manager for 5G core stack. Hello, everyone. So let's start here by touching on the point of on the concept of stack. What are the different options that an operator has when considering his way toward 5G core? Yes, absolutely, Odette. So what we see today in the industry is basically two main approaches. The first approach that we could say is a conservative approach is typical from the smaller operator. Those operators, in most cases, will have network function coming from a single vendor. And moving from 4G to 5G is just a major upgrade of the network. They will just install the existing new version of their provider, and they will have limited option, limited choice. So this is the first approach. The second approach is what we call the ambitious approach that is typical from the bigger operator. Those big operators will have a best of breed approach, selecting network function by network function, the best vendors, and doing the integration by themselves. So it's very ambitious. There is a lot of effort, a lot of skills required, and the integration time may last more than six months. At the end of the day, you may have a proprietary solution that is difficult to maintain. What we do with HP 5G core stack is try to combine the benefits of the two previous approaches. First, it's a best of breed because it's a multi-vendor cloud native stack. Second, it's fully packaged, fully automated, and it's quick to deploy. And that's it's delivered by HPE, you still have a single throat to choke. Okay, very good. So let's let's look into it. What is our HP 5G course that what are the main elements or building blocks? Sebastian, what's your view on Yes, that? thank you, Ordered. So let's look at the components composing this um, solution. So infrastructure first. We are based on HP Telco blueprints, uh, providing uh, validated and pre-integrated hardware and software. Platform as a service, we're using Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform, HP shared data environment, network functions, including 5G packet core, subscriber data management, policy management and charging using best of breed network functions from HP and qualified partners. And last, automation and orchestration. Both pre-integration and automated validation are key capabilities of the solution to decrease the risk and manage the complexity of such a modular and multi-vendor solution. Last, from a commercial perspective, HP 5G core stack is sold on a consumption-based pricing. Okay, okay. Naturally, it's quite compound as a 5G core, as any 5G core. So what is the process that we see for doing that, for deploying a 5G core from start to end? Yes, um, so we will deploy here the core stack solution and a shared slice uh, using the tools that we provide with the solution, including uh, the, continu the continuous deployment pipeline. Um, we special slices such as EMBB or URLC would be deployed exactly the same way. So we follow a four step process for an installation from scratch preparation, provisioning, instantiation, and testing. Let's go through the four steps one by one. This first step is the preparation where the deployment toolkit is installed on the controller node. So the prerequisites are very minimum. It's an OCP4 cluster up and running. So the deployment toolkit, um, which is installed during that step, contains a set of tools to enable the validation of the deployed cluster and to provision the repository of the network function and the backing services, and to describe the slice that will be eventually deployed. Last, it also deployed the continuous deployment framework, which allows performing the lifecycle management of the slices. This step is performed once. Moving to the second step, 
which is the way we enable the continuous deployment of the software. So basically, it automates the deployment of the new software. It provisions the various container images constituting the slice in the Docker registry that was installed in the previous step. Each individual NF coming with many parameters. One of the key deliverable here is the slice descriptor, which is a structured YAML file and only exposes a subset of configurable parameters and wire up all the network functions composing the slice. Moving to the th third step, which is the instantiation of the slice on the OpenShift container platform. So this third step is performed each time a slice is deployed and deployed. The network functions constituting the 5G common slice are deployed and configured along with their backing services necessary for their execution. So whether for functional or observability purposes. You can see here two graphical view of the same deployment workflow on the left side. And here you can recognize, recognize on the top the Jenkins as the engine running our workflows. So this, this is showing the sequence of steps executed by the workflow. The second view on the bottom allows to see where, within each step, which are the tasks that are performed in sequence and the other one performed in parallel. And, and um, finally, the, the, the fourth step, which is the testing of the deployed slice. Again, the solution is fully packaged. So both test tool and test cases used to validate the deployed slice are delivered with the solution itself. And um, automated uh, post-deployment testing is um, included into the slice deployment workflow that we saw just before. But test cases are also available as specific workflows to be launched separately as often as needed. And this is concluding the installation from scratch of the solution. All right, all right, very good. So in terms of timing, how long does it take for an operator to run through all the four stages across it? Yes, you're right, uh, Oda, this is a key KPI. And now, thanks to that um, automation that I described earlier on, we went from days to hours to deploy a core network. And here is a link to the recorded uh, deployment of the 5G core stack. The YouTube link is included into that presentation here, and you can watch it after, after this presentation. Okay, very interesting, very good. Okay, so let's, let's try to, to summarize. What are the key advisors Pierre, that you would give to a 5G operator considering his way, his steps in deploying the 5G core? Yes, basically three advice. So <clears throat> 5G is a, is a big project deploying 5G. So as all big projects, it's very important to plan in advance, to define the strategy and understand the pros and cons of each approach. The second point is in case you go for a multi-vendor environment, a cloud native approach, you need to be careful that the different network function vendor provides tools that are compatible or use the tool in a compatible manner. Otherwise, there is a risk that you end up being obliged to create silo cluster for each network function vendor. And this will remove most of the benefit of a cloud native uh, approach. The last point is about testing. Automation, CICD is very important, but without testing, you can never be sure that the life cycle of the 5G core environment is preserved, and you are never sure that you will deliver the, the value that you expect from your 5G environment. Okay, thank you very much. I think that's a good point to conclude this demo. Um, Pierre, Sebastian, thank you. Everyone, if you want to reach out to us, please use the emails on screen. We'll be happy to, to answer. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.